this is my 5,000th video. I've uploaded 5,000 videos to my YouTube channel. A lot of people on this platform don't ever upload that many or even think about uploading that many. And not all of them are bangers. Some of them are kind of stinky, but for the majority of my 10 years here on YouTube, almost, I think I've uploaded stuff that's fairly decent. But on the other hand, I also want to get a bit more realistic about my channel, get a bit more thought-provoking, a little introspective and a little reflective. And I'm still kind of at that crossroads that I have no idea what to do. Because I could do something like, What's up guys? We just uploaded 5,000 videos on the channel. So, to celebrate, I'm gonna go ahead and give a house to every single person who subscribes right now. Not only that, but you're gonna be in with a chance to get a vial of my own blood. If you wanted to ever own a piece of Jacksepticeye before, you can do it right now, as long as you sign up for my $49.99 a year subscription plan. But nothing stops there. I'm gonna come to your house for your your birthday and I'm gonna sing you a song directly to your parents. Or, you know, to make it a bit more realistic, I could always just sit down and... We did it guys. 5,000 videos. I just want to say thank you guys so much for everything you've done for me over the years. We're like a family here. We... I know everybody says this but... I, I think we have the best community ever and I just really want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. This is for all of us. But that doesn't really feel like enough either, does it? Like for, for something like that, something so big, you need, to, you need to pull out all the stops. You need to go huge. You need to like you need to post nudes, or I need to, like, give away a car, or sign 50,000 posters, or, like, put on a jacket from the last scene so it looks like I recorded these at separate times and not back to back. Hmm. What could I do that's big? We interrupt this video for breaking news. drama today everybody as youtuber jacksepticeye hasn't uploaded in several weeks people have no idea about the whereabouts of the youtuber or what he's actually doing people are anticipating something remarkable for whenever he decides to return if he decides to return of course people have no idea right now until they get some sort of inclination that he actually is going to upload again or some sort of confirmation that he has in fact done so fans of course are understandably upset and absolutely losing their minds with some fans saying things like I have no idea where he is I hope he's okay he deserves this break good for you King while others are also saying stuff like man remember when he used to upload Jacksepticeye has been quiet on the matter in recent weeks he hasn't uploaded or given any signs that he is even alive at all or anything of the sort people are still on the lookout for him and local authorities have absolutely no idea what is going on or who he is hold on we have some more breaking news coming in. Drama alert update here, people. It seems that Jacksepticeye is actually in the process of uploading. It turns out that the video that he is uploading is being played in front of you right now. address by pretending you're somewhere else you log into that bad boy pretend that you're in America or if you're in America already you can pretend that you're in England like me and then people will actually think you're from there your IP address and your internet access doesn't even need to have an accent it just pretends it's there and everyone believes it this keeps you safe this keeps you anonymous this is my five thousandth video and for some people on my channel 
it's showing up that I have 4,998 videos, making this not the 5,000th video. So what does that mean? It means that one of my videos probably got blocked in your country, which sucks. It happens sometimes. I upload copyright claim, video gets blocked in that country. You know what can happen? You know what can fix that? NordVPN, baby. You log into the VPN, you use the code down in the description, nordvpn.com slash jacksepticeye, and then you can pretend that you're in a country where the video is available. Go peruse the channel, figure out which video was missing. There's only 5,000 of them to surf, sift through. You can find it. I believe in you. No, oh, but the privileges don't stop there because with NordVPN, you can also go to like Netflix or Amazon Prime Video or I went to America one time and on YouTube there, they have so many TV shows. Here in England, we don't get anything. I watched so many seasons of things when I was in America and when I got back home because I used NordVPN to pretend that I was still in America. No jet lag for me across the internet. It has so many other use case scenarios besides that one. You don't even need to just do that. It also protects you when you're online. Because when you pretend you're somewhere else, then nobody can find you. Nobody can find you. If they don't have your IP address or your location, nobody can find you. <laughs> They also have malware threat detection, so you can protect your internet connection and your computer. No one can hack you. They also have something called NordPass, which helps you create strong protected passwords. It's really important on the internet. You don't want to have your passwords leaked. They also have Nord Locker. Yeah, it puts your files in a safe locker that's encrypted so no one can get them. Like this video project. I don't want anyone to figure out what I'm doing before I do it. I have multiple secret things going on all the time and I want them encrypted and protected and I don't want anyone to know what I'm doing. Nordlocker can help with that. Sure. Anyway, thank you again NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Really appreciate it. This is also an excuse for me to just talk in your ears like this and chew on them. You've always wanted to accept the guy to chew on your ear before, haven't you? That's what it sounds like. Hey guys. Um, just wanted to address something um, and say that I'm sorry that I decided to do whatever I wanted and not upload videos um, and I'm also sorry that the that I have nothing for 5,000 videos um, that's a, a really big milestone on the channel and it, it really means a lot to me to see so many people support me over such a long period of time um, and the, the fact that I don't have anything to show for that um, Kind of makes me feel sad you know i feel like i'm just letting people down and that i i really do appreciate everyone who follows me for so long and really 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 love every one of you every single one of you i love dearly openly honestly and I know a lot of YouTubers say that, and a lot, a lot, a lot of YouTubers say that, but I, I love you guys, each and every single one of the 28 million of you. So many people. I just want to be better, you know? I want to, I want to be a better person, try harder. Not uploading videos like, like that's not who I am, at all. And I, this is kind of hard to admit, but I've been playing games in my spare time that I haven't been uploading on my channel. I'm sorry. I just wish I could turn back the clock, you know. 
such makeup for this. I'm I'm gonna record something that people have wanted for a really long time. Um, just as a, a sort of an apology and a, a thank you at the same time. Um, coming up on ten years. And five thousand videos. I wonder what I'll record for it. Hello and welcome back everybody to another wonderful episode of The Septic Kitchen! Thank you all so much for being here once more in my house. How did, how did you get in? I've heard your pleas everybody. That's right, today we're going to be reviewing The Slap Chop. But not only that, I've got the handy dandy crank chop here as well. We're gonna put them through their paces. Let's see what this bad boy can do, shall we? I've got some ingredients here to make myself up a wonderful smoothie. First of all, make sure your utensils are clean. Next, you're gonna to wanna to get your lemon and just finely chop it into slices. There you go, perfect. Get that citric acid. Now we ask the question, will it slap chop? As you can see, it's got a wonderful array of beautiful teeth underneath here. And we just put over the lemons and we give it a... And there you have it. Beautiful lemon ready for your smoothie. And just scrape that into our cup. Yes, ooh. I'm getting hungry already, guys. Next up, no smoothie is complete without some wonderful carrots. Brilliant antioxidants can help you see in the dark, as my parents used to always tell me when I was a kid. You're just gonna wanna cut these into about finger sizes, you know? Well, a child's fingers, maybe. And then you're just gonna wanna put them under your slap chop. And there you have it. Beautifully pureed carrots ready for your smoothie and just scoop them on up in there. Wonderful. This is going to be very healthy. Low on the carbs, low on the gluten. Next, let's get some blueberries and raspberries in there. It's really going to liven up the flavor, but not only that, it's also going to make it more colorful. And we all know that it's all about the presentation at the end of the day as well, because if it looks good, it tastes good. Die! Fucking die! There we have it. Beautifully pureed fruit. Who needs a spoon, am I right? <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna add some green beans. I, um, what can I say? I'm just a sucker for the beans, am I right? Put them right under, there we go. Don't need to be careful about it. It does the job for you. <laughs> we have it ready to serve. But there's one special ingredient that I haven't told you guys about before. Can you guess what it is? <gasps> oh, I'm gonna surprise you with this one. It's top of the morning coffee beans, everybody. The most absurdly good tasting coffee on the planet. Mm. Get yourself a little smell of that. Now, oh, get yourself a little smell of the bag. <laughs> You just want to lay those beans down very liberally, no need to be shy. They can take a beating. Top of the morning coffee beans. Will it slap chop? Grind it into some fine powder. Who needs a burr mill grinder when you've got the power of the slap chop? There we have freshly ground coffee beans. Ready to go. Trickle that right on in there. Use a tender, loving touch. These beans deserve to be treated well. Now to make sure it's all blended together perfectly, we're gonna take out the crank chop here. As you can see, it's got a spinning blade in the middle of it. <laughs> Don't get your fingers close to that. <laughs> we're just gonna dump all of that freshness in there. Mm -mm -mm. Let's add a little lubricant. I'm a fan of oat milk myself. It, it goes down Real easy, just get that in there, yeah. Just to make sure everything blends together properly, and of course, you're gonna wanna get some mayonnaise in there as well. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's really gonna make the flavor pop. Then you just put the lid on your crank chop, and you just get to blending. It's almost like I'm not even working. It's like I'm sitting on the couch, 
watching a YouTube video. It's that easy. And just like that, our smoothie is complete. Bottoms up, let's give it a little taste test. Mmm. That's good. It's missing something though. You're gonna to wanna to take your knife and extract some human blood. So get your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. A perfect drink to start the day. Isn't it weird that nobody out here in this park knows that I have 5,000 videos on my channel? None of them. There's a bag of dog shit right next to me. I can smell it. Hopefully I'm not sitting in any. There's a dog over there. Do you think it was him? Maybe. I decided I would come outside and touch grass, as it were. There's tons of it around. Plenty to touch. The real world. And isn't it funny that I went out into the real world and I decided to record this section where nobody else could see or hear me because I'm embarrassed by it. And I shouldn't be because I have 5,000 videos. There's a lady coming by with a kid and now I'm going to cut between edits for this section because I don't want to talk while they go by. <laughs> I hope nobody steals my camera. How does Casey Neistat do this? He just leaves his camera down somewhere and then it's like, I'm gonna run by now. He runs away first and then runs back across it and then comes back to collect the camera. How does he get anything done? How do daily vloggers get anywhere? It takes like an hour to do 15 minutes. My legs are falling asleep. <laughs> I'm going to read out an inspirational quote now that I'm going to look up on my phone and pretend that I knew it off the top of my head. There is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. That was written by Amanda Gorman. But I said it on the internet now, so it's mine. Out of the mountain of despair, a stone of hope. That was Martin Luther King Jr. Oh, uh, here's a good one. Tough times never last. Tough people do. Good old Robert Schuler wrote that. Is he a tough person? You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. I like that one. That's from Stoicism. I like that philosophy. It's taught me a lot and helped me be a better person. You know, they talk about how a lot of stuff in your life is not in your control. And the stuff that's not in your control, you just let that go. And anything that is in your control, you focus on that. Like, I'm in control of what I say in this video, but I'm not in control of all the people that are around in this park who are looking at me like a weirdo for recording it outside. Anyway, my legs are falling asleep. I think this part is done now. I've been doing this a long time. And I still have no idea what I'm doing. I want to be able to do so many more things that I'm doing. I always feel like I'm not doing enough. And I feel like there's this creative beast inside me that's been screaming to get out that I'm not tapping into at all because I'm stuck in this old school mentality of how my content should be. Thinking that I should be uploading daily, that I should be staying as relevant as I possibly can. But I don't really know what to leave you with in regards to this. Um, other than, no, go up.
In, no, in there. Just, just be kind. Be nice. Live, laugh, love. You know? And when you hit 5,000 videos on a platform, maybe you have something in, in mind for it. Maybe plan ahead. Something. Would be cool, now you died. Good job. You can't do anything right. But I do have one thing that I could probably leave you with. One thing that would probably make all of this worth it. I don't know, I, I was in the woods and then I wasn't. I didn't kill him. Wait, no, I'm not lying. You guys knew and did nothing. Hello Chase, how are you doing today? Welcome back. I thought you guys forgot about me or something.